Hello everyone, in this video we're going to set up the environment and start the project. So um, just go ahead and open the terminal or Visual Studio Code and yep. Oops. Oops. Python 3 make environment. I'll just name mine fans clone. Here we go. Okay. Now let's just oops. Just activate the environment. Okay, um now let's just install the let's just install Py um Django. Okay, we got Django. Now let's um, let's create a new project and Django hyphen admin start project fans clone. Okay, here we are. Okay, here we have our project. So um now let's open the folder let's go to Django and this one good okay this is our um project here so um what we need to do now we're going to start working with the users and the profile and all that stuff i have like like many videos or like um projects that we like did with the instagram clone and um the indb um clone so let's just know i mean do all of that let's just copy that and yeah so let's go here to the instagram repository so now when you're here we're going we're going to download the audit app and to download like this folder we just go to down git okay so here we just copy the link, paste it over here, and then I just download. Here we have the so here we have the app. So now let's go to terminal. Wait, what? I think I closed it. Oh. Um Yeah, so So um, let's create our first app. Admin star app. Let's call this one outed and then just name one as just whatever you want. Okay. Um, oh, star app. Okay, so. Um, here we have our first app here. So now um, let's go to this file that we just downloaded. Let's just start here. 
let's get the um, admin forms, models, uh, URLs, and views. Let's go to our directory. Let me just paste it here. Yes, yes. Okay, this is our admin. So, um, so this this is the forms for the um for the registration, like change password, password, like edit profile, and all of that. Um, that's that's why we import it so we don't have to like because it's kind of like the same thing so we don't have to like type all of that if you want to if you want to understand how this like how of this works um, you can go to the um, to the previous videos and watch when I when we started like making all of these uh, when we started like making this file so um Let's go. Oh, indentation. So um, let's check the models and then see what we can change from here. Um, so here, this is the profile. Okay. Um, let's see what fields we're going to keep. Yes, user, uh, we don't need this one's first name. We don't need last name because um, these fields are already in the user. So goodbye. Um, let's keep location URL and then profile info, create it. And then um, favorites, we don't need this one. So just get rid of this one now. Um, let's get rid of this uh, post, All right? This is the profile, create a um, picture, and then let's add another one. Let's copy this one. Let's add banner, okay? Um, so for this one, um, let's create another function to get the directory path for just the banner. This one will be the profile and this one will be the banner. Okay, profile and then here, banner and then let me see. Banner big name, um, full path, la 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 la. la. Okay. Okay. Good. Um. So now let's copy this function. Place it over here. That's for the picture, and this one is for the profile. As I said before, um. You can just um, watch the previous video so you can understand like what this does, what this function does. But here, basically, we're just um, this function just creates the the path so we can like um, upload the profile picture and like the banner pic um, picture for the user to a, a specific folder so we can like access create easily, and then we can just um, if the user just change the profile picture or the banner it will be replaced in in here in this path um okay so we got the let's check the profile again and then we got everything here and then here um yeah yep yeah. okay pretty much that's 
that's it for now. Um, um, let me see. Post saved. Yeah, that stays there. Um, yeah, let's save that. Let's close. Um, I think we need to import peel. So um, let's see. Okay, here's our app, audio app. Mm. Let's check the forms now. So let's see, forms. Kind of want to like keep this. That's for this is our like the um the functions to verify like the invalid user, unique email, like unique user, all of that. So here in the sign up form, username, form and text input required. Yes. So when I keep all of these. Um, yeah, this is pretty much the same thing, all of that. So for the edit profile form, we kind of want to, um, let me check. Okay. Um, let me see. Yeah, that's for, that's for the form, so. Yeah, let's save. Yeah, that's fine. Pretty much the form um, stays the same thing. Oh no, wait. Um, we added the. This is the picture. Um, let's move this one here. First name, last name, here. This is the picture, and then here because we added the um, forms uh, image fill okay um, save that that's for the banner because we added the banner now remember um, URLs um, the URL is pretty much like s s stays the same. Okay, now let's go to the views. Okay. Um, for for the views now. Um, let's see. Mm. We need to change all of this. Because there are like many things that we don't that we don't need that we need to change. But for now, um, well, let's get rid of this. Oops. Uh, let me see. This one. User profile favorites. Oh. We don't need them. Let's just check the sign up form. Um, so yeah, the pretty much the sign up form stays the same. Na, 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 na. User email, the password. And let's redirect the user to the edit profile. So it kind of like they, so they can add like um, their pictures and stuff. Okay. Um, um, okay. So the edit profile, that's what we need to change. So user profile, and then now let's create a new variable called like user basic info. And then here we just get the um, the user, right? OK, 
Okay. Um, let me see. Um, what is this? I don't know. Okay, I don't remember why I have that there, so. <laughs> okay, um, okay, pod file requires files. And then here, um, here, we pass it in the instance, we pass the profile. Why? So we can, when we, um, open this view we can basically like populate the all the data from our profile so we get the location first name last name picture etc so we don't have for example if you just want to change the, the name or just the picture we don't have to change the whole thing that's why we add the we insta instantiate the profile here okay so we have the picture let's just copy this one it here. Let's add the banner. Okay. Um, so for the first name um, here, we want to paste it here and then here because the first name and last name are getting from the user model. Um, not the profile, okay? Um, I had this kind of like run, I guess, but in the, in the previous video, but it's, that's, you can do it this way. Okay, um, location, URL, profile, information. So let's save the profile. And then let's save the, Yeah, let's save the user basic information. And then let's redirect the user to, yeah, the index will be fine. So here, uh, oh, yeah, we need to pass the instinction here to And yeah, let's save that. Okay, edit profile, and then, yep, that's it. We can get rid of this. Um, well, let's just keep it there for now, or not. Mm. Um, I don't know. Yeah, so we have the, let me see, user. So this user profile, we're going to change it a lot. So, but for now, um, let's save that. And then here, oops. And then here, oh, we need to, we need to add the new app to the, project file so let's go here um, okay save that and now um, yeah we need to install peel so um, beep install pillow okay um I, is this the is is the phone like i mean uh that's too big okay let me see I think this is too big, but I just wanted you to see everything. Okay. And 
then let's migrate okay we have our um, um, so now let's um, yeah so in the next video we're going to uh, integrate the basically the templates and the template that we created previously here we're going to integrate that with our project thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video